Uh, let's talk to us. Uh, a, were you surprised by this? And B, do we have any sense here uh, as to who could potentially replace David? It's not a huge surprise. You know, it did look like the Biden administration, the U.S. administration, did want to put their own body at the helm of the World Bank. The, it is a U.S. choice who gets to lead that, and uh, Malpass was a President Trump pick. So it's not a huge surprise. It is a tumultuous moment, because right now we're talking about a lot of Ukraine reconstruction. A lot of countries need help with their debt, uh, with inflation rising and the dollar so strong as it is now. And no, I mean, right now, I wish I had some more details as soon as I've got details on who could be next. Mm -hmm. I will report them to Bloomberg directly. What is the most controversial issue that David Malpass uh, had to adjudicate as president of the World Bank? I mean, one was just the public image mm. of these multilateral organizations. There was a big scandal at the International Monetary Fund with uh, Kristalina Georgieva at the helm with the China report and accusations that she had kind of cooked the books for China. The other one was just the climate change. You know, under the Trump administration, uh, Malpass was a Trump uh, Treasury Department official. Then he goes over to the World Bank and he's not talking about climate change. And the minute there's a change in U.S. administration, he flips the coin and starts talking about something else, and that was a really interesting shift to sort of watch uh, unfold.